How to change a hydroelastic ram on a Citroen C5. This failed the MOT because it has a leak and any suspension which leaks if it's hydroelastic is an instant fail. So we've got 10 days to get this done. Today is the day we're gonna get it done. Um, we went to Citroen, bought the part. It is on the near side rear. Let's lift it up. Alrighty then. We're already making a mess on the floor. Mm -hmm. So, we've got the sphere. Basically, we've got to, first, we've got to depressurize the gas out of the system. Take the sphere off. This is the piece we're changing, connected to this. So, I'm guessing the seal underneath the boot has gone and is allowing this constant drip of hydroelastic fluid to come out. So, let's get this process started. Okay, so what is a hydroelastic ram? Well, a hydroelastic ram is Citroen's cool way of suspension. Now, we have liquid instead of a shock absorber and a spring set up. Now, Mr. MOT Tester was not happy about the leak here. Now, this is the ram section here. The sphere comes off. This is your ram. The seal inside there has clearly gone as it is leaking quite... Oh, I could even hear it just then. As it's leaking quite badly, it's dripping on my floor, which I'm not happy about. So, first step is to depressurize the system. Now, we have our height adjuster here in, this, in the middle of the car. Next to that, we have a bleed nipple. Now, what we're gonna first do is we're gonna clean up all the connections because these have a tendency to snap and then we have a real trouble. So what we're gonna do is we're going to clean up the bleed nipple. We're then going to clean up all the, um, the collars, which are basically what we're gonna be taking off. So we're gonna clean up that one just there, and we're also going to basically brush off all the nuts and bolts, all the connections so that it all comes apart. Fingers crossed without any trouble. So from everything that I have researched and read online, um, everyone's been saying that this is a pressurized system and when you undo it, it's gonna go everywhere. It's not the case, certainly on this car anyway. Um, what I've actually had to do is essentially hook up a brake reader. You can buy a cheap one of these, you can get it where you plug it into your tire and it does exactly the same job. Now I've hooked this up to the compressor so <clears throat> all I'm gonna do is basically crack the nipple off, switch the valve open, and then proceed to drain it out. So all I'm gonna do is crack it open to about, that'll do. Switch the bleeder on. And you see it's sort of sucking the fluid out. So we're going to leave that to bleed the system. When it's dry, then we can return and continue. Can you hear that? That sounds like a failed seal. Or perhaps when you're cooking spaghetti bolognese and it's got a nice simmering bubble going on. Mm. Quite hungry now. Just while we let the compressor recharge, we're going to have a nice brew. And you should too, because uh, this is a good time to take a stop, take a break, recharge, and join me for a brew. Now, I'm making quite a sugary brew here. Oh, fuck it now. Now that you have your system depressurized, we are going to Remove our apparatus. We're going to wheel this out the way. Rem remove that part. Now you can either use an oil filter wrench strap. There is actually a Citroen tool for this. What I'm going to be using is a big set of jaws. And there they are, the monsters. These are water pump pliers for the world's largest water pump. Now if like me, that sphere is incredibly tight, maybe corroded on, I've had to assemble a jig, which is a long skew bar, and basically the extra leverage will get that undone. Um, it's now cracked off. So we're going to remove the sphere. Ooh. Oh, maybe jump. Okay, you're still gonna have some liquid remain. 
but it's not much. There is the sphere, and you can see what corrosion was just holding it on. Now, when it comes to removing uh, the union, we're gonna have trouble. These two have not been undone for 2002, 2016 years, wow. So, them two are not gonna wanna, basically this union spins, this pipe will stay where it is, this union should, should spin. Now, I wire brushed again, gently all around here, and I suggest you pick up some kind of um, nut cracking, whatever this stuff is, rust loosener, let's say that. Just really, really take your time with this piece because if that goes wrong, we're in a lot of trouble because this whole pipe will go all the way over. It'll be all the pipe work. These won't come undone. And that would be really, really catastrophic. So. And really get that. Now this stuff is like liquid nitrogen. It makes it freezing cold. I don't know if you can see this sort of fog which is coming across the screen. That gives us the best opportunity and when it dries it leaves like a lubricant. So you want a very, very, very good fitting 16 mil spanner. And by good fitting I mean that you don't have much play when it's on the nut. See that, I'd say it's too much play. But if I come round to this one, on this side, apparently it's exactly the same. <laughs> but I haven't got much else to play with so we're going to try and attempt to crack that off. Well, the spanner didn't work, so I've resorted to brute force with a very decent set of Irwin uh, mole grips. We gripped it very tight, and basically what we're going to do is we're going to tighten it first, try and crack that seal. <coughs> and loose it. You see the pipe is moving. You know, we don't want that, because if that pipe twists, we're in muy buen trouble. <sighs> it will. loosen if you keep going backwards and forwards backwards and forwards just to crack that seal don't be afraid to use as much use a whole can if you need to five pound for that the whole day's job and whatever you've got to replace to do that we don't want to do that just waste the can if you need to just get it done get it done some success going on here. After a lot of time, we have managed to safely get the union out. Now, this pipe won't come out until the ram is actually off, so next job is to pull out the two plastic, plastic? Two black plastic um, pipes. They literally just click in. Whee! Steady on. One. Don't worry, there's a tripod in the post. Oh, we've got some, something on your face there. I do apologize, I didn't mean to get you messy. One moment. Honestly, it's like that never happened. You look beautiful. So back over to our operating theatre. This is quite dodgy. Doing it. Oh, there we go. Oh. Well, I believe that is just a vent, actually. Do I think we well, read that's just a venting tube? I shined a torch up into this and there's nothing up there so that will be a venting tube so put that to one side where we know where it goes that will do nicely now we can proceed to take off the two torque screws one there and then we one above get your t40 bit and undo both of these there is some going to be some crud in there so make sure that is fully home before we try and undo that because if we round that then we've got more problems we don't like problems Next you're going to remove this clip which goes through here 
and this bit popped out on mine. It looks like someone's previously tried to stop this leaking with bath sealant. Hmm, not sure that repair worked actually. So we're gonna tap the whole unit that way and then that bit, sorry, that bit is gonna be twisting down to go through this. So you're gonna grab a mallet and basically free off the rust. Obviously we're not keeping this part, so. All I've done there was hold the pipe up, give it a sharp whack and the whole, whole lot will come loose, so don't be scared. And then we have a lot of more, a lot more fluid coming out. Tasty. Not much to it now. We've got our new one. All we're going to be doing is cleaning up the mating face, especially around there, because that doesn't look too clever. We're going to clean inside there. Fitting is exactly the reverse of removal. Okay, so we have our new ram installed. We've got a new clip on the front. Breather pipe, put that back in. Union back on, be very careful when you're doing it up. Now if we take off here, we will have a seal underneath, so do be careful. There it is, that's it. Make sure that is seated nicely. Grab your ball, screw it back on and nip it up with whatever tool you've used to undo it, and then we can proceed to under the bonnet. Now we're not done just yet. Turn it this box, like that. they are going to grab a can of brake cleaner. We're going to go on a bit of a cleaning spree. This is just brake cleaner. So Mr. MOT man knows that we fitted a new part. So now that we have our new ram fitted, we're going to start the bleeding procedure. So if you remember the bleed nipple, we need to make sure that that is tight. Don't overdo it. Just make sure the fluid is not going to come out. About that will do. Now we can lower the car down and start the bleeding process, which luckily the car does for us. All we have to do is fill it with two litres of LDS fluid, which is in that bag. The ramp is actually going to bottom out and the car won't be able to move. Because there's no fluid, we get ultimate lows. And we like lowered cars here at Juice. We like them very much. Find your Citron Hydractive. Now this cover has these little poppers. Save these little buggers. One. Two. Three. And take the cover off. So we've removed our cover and the gauge level is on here. So we're just under what says HYD there and we're down there. This is the lowest level, so we need to add in up to the top there. So you're gonna grab your LDS fluid, which is orange. So what you're now going to do is start the vehicle. Let it idle. And apparently we should hear the pump prime itself and it will self bleed as it all goes back to the tank. And I can hear it. Fluid level is dropping. The car should lift itself up. Just keep on top of that level. You see it's dropping. And I don't see any leaks. We're now just gonna give the suspension a good workout. And there you have it. One 
Hydroactive Ram replaced. If you like the video, please like and subscribe, comment. I'll answer all comments and there's going to be more and more videos going on. If you'd like to put a comment about what you'd like to see, then let me know and I'll try and do my best. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Peace out.